Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 nightmare fuel anime scenes. I submit. For this list, we'll be looking at the scariest anime moments that are bound to stay with you long into the night. Hey, Mojoholics. For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com slash play. Number 20, Encounter at the Bus Stop, Miyaruko-chan. From the moment Miko steps into the dark, creepy night, it's clear something's amiss. But not even all the red flags in the world can prepare you for the rotting corpse that pops up in front of her. It's something straight out of a horror film, and worst of all, it tries to talk to her. Mind you, this is the show's first episode too. To Miko's credit, she manages to hold it together long enough for the ghost to slither off somewhere else. But her reaction after the fact makes it clear she won't be forgetting this ghoulish encounter anytime soon. <laughs> Number 19, Not All Vampires Are Nice, Call of the Night. For the most part, humans and vampires in the show get along just fine. But as the mortal Yamori soon learns, not all bloodsuckers are quite as benevolent. <laughs> Unfortunately, it took one of his friends nearly dying for him to get the memo. <laughs> To be fair, the season's focus on light-hearted romantic hijinks seemingly proved that the two species could coexist. But that was all just a cover, so that when the thirsty vampires did go for the throats, it left an impact. It simply did on Yamori. The sight of an evil bloodsucker leaves him too shocked to even move. Given the circumstances, it's hard to blame him. <laughs> Number 18, Meeting the Mad King, Ranking of Kings. Boji needs all the friends he can get, and at first, the Mad King seems like a prime candidate. <laughs> His dance is a bit off kilter, and his wardrobe definitely needs some work, but otherwise, he seemed like a decent enough guy. <laughs> the operative word being seemed. Things get very weird very fast, specifically in regards to how casually he brings up the idea of human sacrifice. <laughs> Guess they don't call him the Mad King for nothing. It's probably for the best Boji got out there when he did, or else Ranking of Kings would have needed a higher age rating. Number 17, Failed Transmutation, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's really saying something when two kids trying to resurrect their mother isn't even the most harrowing part of this scene. <laughs> That honor belongs to the aftermath, and putting it lightly, it's no happy ending. The image of Ed and Al being torn apart by their own alchemy is just something else. As if to really rub it in, the suffering doesn't stop when Ed loses consciousness. Instead, he comes face to face with the aptly named The Truth, who brings their own slew of terrifying imagery to the table. <laughs> After what they endured here, it's a miracle the Elrics ever touched alchemy again. <laughs> Number 16, The Dark Ocean, Digimon Adventure 02. We never thought a show about giant talking monsters would tackle childhood trauma, but here we are. To give credit where it's due, that tonal whiplash delivers an episode that definitely won't be forgotten anytime soon. Uh, 
If the manifestation of Kari's deep-rooted issues don't make your spine tingle, the terrifying sea creatures will definitely do the trick. Help us. Help us. Especially once they reveal their intention of crowning Kari as their new queen. I trusted you guys and you lied to me! Still, the most unsettling part of this is that the big bad teased at the end of the episode is never officially followed up on. For all we know, he's still out there giving kids bad dreams to this day. Number 15. The Bunnies ReZero starting life in another world It takes a seriously twisted mind to make a horde of adorable rabbits seem scary, but ReZero does it with ease. In fact, it does it with just one scene. All poor Subaru did was reach out to pet one, and just like that, his hand was gone. At the very least, he didn't have to suffer for very long. Within moments, the entire swarm of flesh-eating rabbits had gnawed him down to the bone. It's gory, it's shocking, and based on Subaru's screams, it didn't feel nice either. Following a scene like this, you'll never look at a bunny the same way again. Number 14. Creepy Crawlies – Hell's Paradise How much harm could a butterfly really cause? Turns out the answer is quite a lot. So much so that Gantetsuzai would rather amputate his own arm than be stung by one. It's hard to say if that was a good call or not. Sure, it saved him from mutating alongside his hand, but it also meant he had to come face to face with more of these unsightly bugs. The uncanny way they crawl around is nothing short of haunting. As the crew soon learns, they don't get squashed easily either, and don't even get us started on the big ones. <gasps> Number 13. Bad Dream – Heavenly Delusion It shouldn't come as a surprise that the villainous man-eaters do just as their name suggests. But what is shocking is that Kiruko got an up-close and personal look at them in action. Let's just say it's not a scene for those with weak stomachs. After realizing her gun is useless, all Kiruko can do is scream as the aliens mutilate her body piece by piece. It's all a dream, but at a certain point, we would have taken Kiruko actually dying if it meant getting away from this bloodbath. Even so, it's safe to say that Kiruko won't be the only one having this nightmare anymore. Number 12. Meet the Goblins – Goblin Slayer These creatures wasted no time proving why they need to be slayed. Goblin in their very first scene, the goblins ambush a novice adventurer, hold her down, and stab her right in the stomach. Still, that's getting off easy compared to the rest of the crew. They're butchered, thrown around, captured, or worse. <laughs> It's so graphic, you even end up feeling bad for the group's survivor. Not because she's wounded or anything like that, but because she has to live with everything she saw. Suffice it to say, no one's going to be forgetting how threatening these goblins are, not even the viewers at home. Number 11. Knock Knock Inuyashiki the only mistake this family made was living in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all it took for Shishigami to invite himself inside and brutally slaughter each and every one of them, even their young daughter. <laughs> On paper, the way the robotic Shishigami dispatches his victims is just plain stomach churning. 
And yet, his cybernetic enhancements aren't what sear this scene into your brain. The bloodshed is undercut by the fact that Shishigami isn't a villain on some warped crusade. He's just a guy who had some time to kill. <laughs> It speaks to a primal fear that not even Inuyashiki's last minute appearance can fully placate. Number 10 Jin Men Shell Devilman the Demon Bird. <laughs> While Devilman Crybaby has no shortage of scenes that'll leave you hollow inside, it's this particular incarnation that wins out over others in the Nightmare Fuel Department. And that's all thanks to the introduction of the infamous demon turtle, Jinmen. <laughs> After an ominous build-up, we see the distorted faces of Jinmen's victims appear one by one, including Akira's mother, until it's revealed that they're all part of his hideous-looking shell. Not only does this make for a handy shield, but also a creepy-as-hell collage. Number 9 Connie's Hometown Attack on Titan <laughs> The Titans have caused no small amount of devastation to humanity's last strongholds, though the desolation of Connie Springer's hometown took on a whole new dimension of unnerving. <laughs> As a group of Survey Corps members scour the town in search of life, they discover it has been completely deserted, save for a single titan that bears a striking resemblance to Connie's mother. Not only does this further the mystery surrounding these humanoid monstrosities, but also paints a pretty bleak picture of what befell the civilians here. Sucks to be Connie. Number 8, Renner's Rampage, When They Cry. What is she saying? Word of advice, lads, if you see a high school girl walking towards you with a giant cleaver and a dead look in her eyes, don't stand around like Keichi and instead get the hell out of there. What's she doing with the hatchet? Climbing her way up the bloody pile to become the most terrifying of the anime's cast of killer ladies, Rena's crowning moment of creepiness came when she decided to hunt down her crush. Tell me, has something been eating at you lately? Something that maybe scares you? <laughs> if the cleaver doesn't do it for you, then the echoing sound of Rena's laughter as she chases down Keiji certainly will. Mess with a waifu, and she'll take your laifu. <laughs> Number 7, A. Lamau. Serial Experiments Lane. That it? Don't you just hate it when aliens walk in unannounced? As if Lane didn't have enough emotional hardships to deal with, her investigations into the online world of the Wired soon sends her down quite the rabbit hole, the highlight of which would have to be when she received a rather unexpected visitor. <gasps> Seemingly alone with her thoughts, Lane suddenly finds her little sanctum intruded upon by an alien in a sweater, only for him to vanish a second later. As perplexing as it is unexpected, E.T.'s smile will have you reaching for the nearest plasma rifle. Number 6 Identity Crisis Perfect Blue Exploring the dark side of consumer and media culture, this classic anime flick wasn't only ahead of its time in its portrayal of the horror that can come from those with warped realities, but also delivered on a nail-biting finale. 
の人たちが守ってくれるのミマのお願いなんか何でも聞いてくれるんだよ Ex-idol Mima's desperate attempts to free herself of her stalker and keep her sanity reaches a boiling point when she is set upon by her manager, who has also suffered a psychotic breakdown and now believes that she is the real Mima. <laughs> Thus, we have our chase scene, one filled with all manner of haunting imagery as both women succumb to their delusions. <laughs> Number 5 The Third Impact The End of Evangelion. It's the end of the world as we know it, and nobody is coming out unscathed. Prepare your soul for such wondrous sights as Asuna getting torn limb from bloody limb by Ava units, everyone in the Niv facility getting shot down like dogs, a giant version of Rey, and of course, all of humanity turning into orange soda. Ikari, did you also finally get to see Yui again? <laughs> Don't expect any kind of happy ending though, as the last image this film will sear into your brain is that of our lead strangling the life out of Asuka amidst an orange hellscape. Lovely. How disgusting. Number 4 Curse of the Abyss Made in Abyss. Meaty, you are going to be able to get out なるべく耐えてくださいね。途中で死んだら相棒も呪いにかかってしまいます。ナナチ。ナナチ and Mitty's backstory is not for the faint of hearts. Tempted with the promise of safety, these two doomed orphans were swept away by the white whistle bondrude, only to find themselves used as experiments to test the effects of the abyss's lowest layer. <laughs> Needless to say, the effects were horrific. While Nanachi ended up becoming the fluffy hollow we all know and love, Mitty was reduced to a bubbling blob of flesh in the most agonizing way possible. You can kinda see why people hate Bondrude now. <laughs> Number 3 The Worm Room Fate Zero <laughs> As soon as we saw the seemingly lifeless body of Sakura Mato being ravaged by hundreds of disgusting mana eating worms, we knew we were not in for a light hearted fancy romp. While the visual alone is enough to leave you wanting to vomit, the knowledge that her demon of a grandfather has had her imprisoned in there for days on end is utterly heartbreaking, bringing a new dimension to the Fate vs. most tragic character. Sakura. Sakura. We can't blame Karia for wanting to take her place in order to save her, but it's fair to say the damage had already been done, both to Sakura and to our eyes. Bye bye, Karia Ojisa. Number 2 Death of the Thieves Overlord <laughs> Leave it to Bone Daddy Eins to do bad better than the rest of the series' bad guys combined. After creating a tempting scenario to test the defenses of Nazarek, Various groups of thieves plunge themselves into the heart of the Great Tomb in search of greater riches. Not heeding Eins's warnings proves to be their undoing, as all of them end up meeting some truly disgusting fates. Some are devoured by a tidal wave of cockroaches, others are sent off to be used as experiments to further Nazarek's power, as well as that one poor soul who became Neuronist's plaything. We'll take death by giant hamster over that any day. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Eclipse Berserk <laughs> Griffith's betrayal not only broke a lot of hearts, but it also resulted in a lot of broken bodies as well. Commander, oh, if I'm not mistaken, weren't we just riding across a grassy plain? Or were we all dreaming the same dream about a grassy plain? In order to achieve his dream, the White Hawk decided to accept the God Hand's offer, sacrificing all of his allies in exchange for ultimate power. I submit. Thus began the slaughter, with the band of the Hawk being killed left and right by hungry apostles. Of course, nothing compared to the sight of Griffith violating Casca just to spite guts. It's hellish to behold, and we're hoping that one day it'll lead to some oh-so-sweet vengeance. Until then, we'll just have to put up with the nightmares. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.